Hello and welcome to the RAS Safety Video Series. We are here to teach you some simple techniques to ensure you have a long and prosperous driving career. Time is money, and if you get injured on the job, that money can dry up fast. On average, an injured driver misses 20 days of work, and typically workers' compensation only reimburses you two-thirds of your average wages during the days you're off work. So. If you're off work for 20 days and normally make 35 cents per mile and drive an average of 500 miles per day, your average wages for that 20-day period would be $3,500. Your work comp pay for that same period would be about $2,300. So an average work comp injury will cost you almost $1,200 in pay. Of course, while you take home less, your payments on your truck and house, boat, whatever stays the same. In addition to the financial costs, there are the hassles of all the paperwork, going to the doctor, and all the restrictions on your everyday activities. Can you afford to be off work? Of course not. In many cases, all of this can be easily avoided. And that's why we're here. We want to show you the right way to accomplish many of the tasks that are a part of the job on a daily basis. We want to help you keep trucking for years to come. Let's get started. Getting in and out of your trailer is something you will do thousands of times over the course of your career. And when you do something this often, it is easy to start cutting corners and develop unsafe habits that can lead to injuries. One key to keeping yourself safe, no matter what task you are doing, is wearing appropriate footwear. Like a good snow tire, footwear should have soft and flexible rubber soles with deep treads or channels. Work boots with good traction and ankle support are best. Cowboy boots or other shoes with little to no grip will greatly increase your chance of injury on the job. Next, you should make sure that your trailer's DOT bumper, steps, and grab handles are properly maintained and in good working order. Report or repair any loose or damaged equipment immediately. Before entering your trailer, be sure to scan the ground below for any debris such as loose rocks, broken concrete, potholes, ice, snow, spilled fuel, oil, or grease. Keep both hands free for gripping and always set extra materials on the trailer floor before climbing in or out. When entering your trailer, have a good handhold before stepping up and have only one limb in motion at a time. Always have three points of contact before making the next move. Two hands and one foot or two feet and one hand should always have contact with the trailer. If there's no handle available, use the trailer door as a handhold. Face the trailer and stay as close to the rig as possible. Keep your weight directly over your feet to limit the stress on your arms and shoulders. Don't let go of the trailer until you are safely inside. To exit the trailer, use the same principles. Scan the ground below. Keep your hands free by placing materials on the cab floor and have three points of contact at all times. And remember, never jump. Jumping will multiply your body weight 12 times and will increase your chance of twisting or breaking ankles or knees. Use this same technique when using any additional ladders, steps, or handles installed on flatbeds, tanker trailers, or van trailers. As always, avoid the temptation to rush. Rushing leads to cutting corners which can lead to injury. And that's it. If you can consistently apply these simple techniques when entering or exiting your trailer, you will be on your way to a long, injury-free career. Thanks for joining us.